945 on KJO Radio. Judge Andrew Napolitano, my guest, speaking of his new book, A Nation of Sheep. Judge, a question for you here. Our founders obviously believe that rights and liberties came from God, but God is under attack in the country today, really everywhere you look he is. And if rights come from God and our children have been taught that there is no God, what does that do to their view ultimately as relating to the origin of liberties, and how will that change their world view as well, it, time is to come? It subtly induces young people to believe that rights come from the government. Think about it. When we're when we're in public school, we're all taught that the great presidents were those who exercised the most power and curtailed the most freedom. Abraham Lincoln. All school teachers teach their children is the is the greatest of presidents. I mean, Lincoln caused a war that killed 650,000 Americans. That's more than all the other wars combined. Lincoln's soldiers and agents raped women, burnt courthouses, burnt homes, destroyed and robbed banks. He did all of this in the name of preserving the Union. He didn't have the power to do that under the Constitution. Lincoln locked up over 3,000 newspaper reporters in the North because they dared to publish uh, articles that were critical of him. After Lincoln died, the Supreme Court unanimously condemned what he did, even though he had appointed half the court, and said there's no power in the Constitution for the president to suspend it. The Constitution exists in good times and in bad, in war and in peace. Southern men, the thunders mutter, northern flags and south winds flutter to arms, to arms, to arms, to arms, to arms, in Dixie. Send them back your fierce defiance, stamp upon the cursed alliance, to arms, to arms, to arms, to arms, in Dixie. Advance the flag of Dixie, hurrah, hurrah, for Dixie's land we take our stand and live or die.